friends welcome back to all on on law today i'm going to talk about really very important topic that's a breast mass uh, in a uh, anger of uh, what do you call 35 years old female okay um how would you uh, what do you call uh, proceed with the investigation um and uh, what are the different differential diagnosis and this is really very important for usmle step 2 ck and a step 3 examination Okay guys so let me quickly start this a uh, discussion on this before starting please subscribe to my channel that's all on on law and please do share our videos if you like hit the button like below and please share our videos okay let's start the important points for what we call uh, a, uh, a female with uh, breast mass and she is very young that she is uh, what we call less than 35 years old and she presents with a breast mass what you need to do we know that the most common cause is benign but we should not miss any important like malignancy in these patients that's why if a breast mass is found in a young woman that is less than 35 years you have to confirm whether it's a benign or malignant very good okay so this is a very important point you should remember when remember if there is a what do you call uh, if the patient if a female patient she presents and she says that she has a breast mass and she has observed in us uh, observed for 2 to 3 menstrual cycles but there wasn't any change in the size because this can be a type of typical question in usml examination okay uh, so what you will do that will be the question okay because you won't you won't be doing mammography in a woman less than 35 years old or a 30 years old sorry Uh, okay because the five breast tissue is very dense okay so the film the results will be very very variable so it's it becomes a uh, difficult to read okay so in usmle they give the history that the patient is uh, 35 years or younger than 35 years old she has a breast mass and she has observed for 2 to 3 menstrual cycles and she has come to you what you do okay what you have to do is go ahead with the ultra sound remember ultra sound okay then if possible go for biopsy because we should not miss any malignant diagnosis okay right these are the basic things and you won't do what you call a mammography you won't do mammography if the patient is what you call less than 30 years remember this is contraindicated why because the five the breast tissue is very dense very very dense okay right so let's talk about the breast mass in uh, what you call a woman of a uh, female of less than 35 years or what are the differential diagnosis in usml examination try to look for a, a age of the patient that's really very important if there's any history of breast mass is given okay so let's start with the first and the foremost is fibrocystic fibrocystic disease okay the fibrocystic disease really very important okay how this patient will present if there is a fibrocystic disease if a, she has a fibrocystic disease look these are the, what you call they have the bilateral this is very common they can be the bilateral okay they can be multiple okay they can be multiple also remember and when you touch it's a tender remember these are the important points three important points they are bilateral they are multiple and they are tender and they are cystic lesion as the name itself indicates they are cystic okay guys right so what you need to do no nothing the treatment is nothing just follow up that's it no work nothing no investigation to be sent okay um sometimes you can try with the ocps and progesterone for a week progesterone okay ocp and a progesterone for a week at the end of each month or danazole sometimes might help to relieve the symptoms okay guys next could be fibroadenoma this is really very common benign tumor in a uh, female less than 35 years old fibroadenoma For your examination, try to look the important points and try to study in detail 
related to fiber adenoma because there will be a definite question on this okay let's start what are the most important points you need to look for in a USML case scenario is look for it's a painless very important it's a painless okay very important they are sharp they are sharply circumscribed circum scribe okay circumscribed they are unilateral they are unilateral remember they are unilateral they are rubbery rubbery mobile mobile very important rubbery mobile and they are discrete okay so these are the very common features you see in these patients with the fibroadenoma okay what you have to advise to the patient tell the patient that just observe this for one or more menstrual cycle okay um, even you can try pregnancy or sometimes you know pregnancy or OCPs can stimulate the growth that's why if she reaches a menopause and there will be a regression of the fibroadenoma okay so because these are estrogen dependence in a menopause there's all no estrogen that's why they start to regress in menopause remember okay very important well the treatment for this fibroadenoma is if there's no treatment nothing left uh, let it be like that only but if she insists for a cosmetic region you can go ahead with the surgery okay so but remember there's no risk for the cancer and recurrence is common okay recurrence is common now let's go ahead with the mastitis or abscess mastitis very important mastitis are important what are the points look whether the woman is lactating okay lactating okay very important okay usually the patient is the first few months of a postpartum they develop what you call painful uh, swelling of the uh, both the breast and they look red okay the nipple may be cracked or fissured and the, okay that's it the what are the history what is the important history in this is the patient is a post pregnancy post delivery okay the examination of the nipple shows crack or something and swollen and the tender okay so what do you need to do nothing just give the ibuprofen or estaminophen and continue with the uh, breastfeeding because if you stop the breastfeeding the milk will uh, stuck in the breast canals and they cause more abscess that's why you should drain it off and you can tell the patient to continue breastfeeding but try to take the painkiller if she insists that the on taking a painkiller she still have the pain or still there is an you can continue with the antibiotics antibiotics okay if on this antibiotics even though she has mastitis you can go ahead with the surgery and drain okay that's it right good now the fat necrosis now the fat necrosis okay the fat necrosis in the fat necrosis remember there is a history of trauma okay if there is a history of any trauma think of fat necrosis okay guys so this is all about this uh, what do you call uh, breast mass in a woman less than 35 years